Hey you folks, welcome back to Let's Play Tales of Asperia. I'm the Mysterious JG, not for the first time playing this game when I probably should be reviewing for the CPA, but I took a practice exam earlier today, got 80 on the section I'm taking next, 75 is a passing grade. And as uh, the Becker review people will tell you, a perfect score is a 75. A 76 means you spent too much time preparing. That's pretty much how it works with that. One of those tests where you pass or you fail, nobody cares or ever asks you what you got. It's not like a 100 is better than a 75. 75 means you did enough. So, yeah, I feel like I've earned the right to play a little Tales of Asperia. And about a week from now, I might be weeping over this horrible mistake, but we'll see. Anyway, um... So last time we uh, were at the Eastern Burger 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 Plains, and um, you know I want to try something out real quick before we uh, go into this next area because I feel like we found a really stupid excuse that you couldn't just go into the next town without clearing this town first, but. I'm wondering if maybe we didn't look quite hard enough before giving up on this. I don't want to go... Because I... Yeah, hold on. It'll make sense in a second. I just checked the fact to make sure I didn't miss anything essential. And even the first time you come here, these guards show up and hassle you. So I assumed that that was why I couldn't get around. But no, you have to find an alternate entrance. So let's see what this is. What the hell? Okay, okay, okay. Oh my god, it's a zergling. Ha 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 ha. At last, someone found me. I've been waiting. I'm Wonder Chef. I travel the world far and wide seeking gourmet food and travelers that appreciate the importance of fine dining. Oh, he's a uh, Wonder Chef, huh? You'll usually find me in disguise. A food connoisseur should have no problem seeing through it or call it a test if you will. The huge, screamingly animated, uh, looks like a radish or something. And it seems like you're one of them. Hey, hey, you've got potential. For that, I'm going to reward you with the recipe. I don't know the recipe for Salisbury steak. It's not going to just involve beef and putting water on it. I'll give you this so you can practice. Right, three sets of ingredients for the recipe. For the love of food, bon appetit! Wow. There are lots of strange objects scattered throughout the world. Wonder Chef might be disguised as some of them. When you find him, he will reward you with the recipe. Try to seek him out in your journey. It does have a little bit of a uh, Steambot Chronicles flavor, like there's a lot of optional little cutesy side quest stuff. The door is locked. And there you have it. I think that's it. If I go here now again, if I load the game and come here, I believe that door simply won't be locked. And that's it. That's the big difference. Because I was thinking like the guards just wouldn't even be there anymore, and I was like, Oh my god, it's so lame, but now I'm like, wait. I don't really know that that's how it works at all. Here's a treasure chest. Check this shit out. Hey, monster attacked while I was trying to open the treasure chest. And it kind of Sorry froze the game up. You. Sorry about my face! This? No, this isn't scary. Your legs are shaking. You're kidding. Yeah, I am. We got some pork. That's pretty awesome. We got iron tip times two. That's a an item drop of those regular of those guard soldiers guys. So that really isn't all that rare exciting at all. So we're going after some of these guys now because we could. Ooh, this might be a bit much. Part of what's going on here is that uh. Yeah, these guys yeah, drop items that I need to, um... Week? Shut up, stop. But can you really they drop the items that I need to smith some of the weapons that, uh... just became available. And now I seem to be in the completely wrong place. But I'm not. This is where I need to be. Let's fight you again, anyway. Leave it to me! Destruction! <laughs> of the traitor! <laughs> Too easy. All too easy. 
So that may or may not have done something useful for us. Not interested in fighting you guys. You don't drop items I'm interested in. I think that is it. Well, you know what? Might as well look at it. I'm on this kick about seeing what happens if you visit stuff out of order. All right, all right. Okay, guys, don't waste a lot of arts on this guy. Yeah, or do it, whatever. Next week. Next we got some pork out of that. Pork barrel spending. Oh, man. All right, all right. It'll be a hundred years before you can beat me. Looks like there's another uh, traveling in over here too. Let's work together. Yeah, why not? This? <laughs> no, this isn't scary. Your legs are shaking. I wonder if I get new dialogue here. I don't want to retrieve your like dress for 50 gold? Nah. Well, we need to rest everywhere, so I think we get another chance to rest here. And then we'll probably get new dialogue if we rest here after getting a new party member. Which I think we will be getting a new party member soon, and then I think it's a little while before we get a new party member after that. If I recall correctly. Which I might not. The traveling in thing is very silly, though. I mean, if there's some kind of magical component to it, well, it's just a way of stopping you from going to this place they don't want you to enter yet. Okay, it would appear nothing stops us from going in here, but this is like a dungeon that we need to clear. But before we know why we're going there, yeah, I can't be bothered to clear the whole thing just to see what happens if you get to the end before you know what your objective is. You probably just kind of stand around. Alright, a little scene we'll play. It looks like this is Ospio. Echo, it's echo. It's so gloomy and damp here. It's giving me the chills, too. It's because the city is in a cavern. Yeah, we figured that, Estelle. I wonder if the lack of sun drives the people here to do shady things, like stealing Blastia cores. Just judge them, why don't you? The sealed city of scholars, Aspia. May I see your passport, please? Our passport? This is an imperial facility. We can't just let anyone inside, can we? Passport? You don't have one of those, do you? Eh, cool guy shrug. An associate of ours is inside. Could you please let us through? If you filled out the official visitation paperwork, then you want to have gotten your passport for this associate of yours. This is the first we've heard, though. If you won't let us in, perhaps you could call him to the gate for us? What's your associate's name? Mordio. <gasps> Ma Mordio! Hmm? Oh, we, we can't help you. You'll need to mail in a request and have a passport officially sent to you. Damn, don't budge an inch, do you? Kill, kill, kill. Oh, he's hiding behind him. I guess the guy got angry and now Carol's hiding. Excuse me, but did a knight by the name of Flynn happen to stop here? All information about the establishment is classified. We cannot share even small details with outsiders. So you can't even tell me where, why Flynn was here? I didn't confirm he was here. No, of course not. So what you're saying is that Flynn really did come here. Oh, I, I don't know what you're talking about. A knight named Flynn? N never heard of him. Could we at least leave him a message? Or a massage? Give it up, Estelle. Give him hell, Estelle! <sighs> Give it up, Estelle. We'd have more luck asking a brick wall for him. And check out my sweet quad. Let's just go. But Flynn's inside. I don't care about Flynn. 
the damn Mordio and the damn Blasius inside. That's what Yuri's supposed to care about. Apparently, society doesn't worry. He's not concerned about his hometown. As long as he can do whatever it takes to get inside of Stell's pantaloons there. What? We're just going to give up? I'm not going to give up. I'm going to see Flynn. Determined pose. Determined pose. And I'm going back to take back that blast here from that thief Morio and give him a beating he won't forget. So can't we look for another way in? Of course we can. Let's take a stroll around, why don't we? At the last resort, maybe we could go over the walls. So they kind of clue you into the fact that you need to look around and find the Wonder Chef again. Okay, <laughs> at last someone found me. His dialogue has already been read, so we are moving on. Hitting himself in the head with a pan. Now, Restel learned a new recipe, but we don't have any of the ingredients for it, so. <sighs> Repeat has mastered the sandwich, but when he makes a recipe, it refers to it as dog food. Like, he does it, it just says dog food. So I think you're not actually supposed to um, use him for these things. Looks like we already had enough of all the ingredients for this. Beef, egg, and onion. So we'll go ahead and make... Uh, Change all these up to people making Salisbury steak. Except that uh, we'll keep... For emergency use only, we'll have... Uh, we'll have a sandwich available from Yuri. And, uh, yeah, apparently it's just... I thought it was kind of cute, but apparently no, you don't. I don't know what what makes it different, but it seemed like it was helping people stamina and stuff. But no, you don't want to make um, this is increases attack slightly. Interesting, but yeah, apparently you don't want to use um, repeat for cooking. Makes some sense. Makes sense a lot, and not in gameplay terms. I don't understand how it works, but uh, it does make sense. You probably wouldn't want your dog cooking. <laughs> Doors like this never open when you want them to. Repeat, what do you say? I got nothing to say, Dad. I'm just insulted that you didn't like my dog food. Eh? I guess we'll have to climb over the wall and open it from the inside. A little quick to jump to our last resort, aren't you? I don't know, the wacky music's playing. Carol's up to something. Let's wait for Flynn to come out, then. Even if Flynn comes out, it's not like he's going to bring Mordio out with him. Well, if Flynn comes outside, we can just ask him to let us in, can't we? He'd never go for a plan like this. He's far too much of a goody-goody. Carol, what are you doing? Oh, he's got lockpick skills. He's James the Thief. Oh, there, it's open. Huh, you can't do that. Your guild specializes in hunting monsters, right? Are you guys into thieves' guild type stuff, too? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, well, I'm pretty much the only one who can do anything like this. Don't really do a very good uh, Jimmy Stewart. Which is what the James is about. James is... I'm watching Effing Controller's Let's Play of uh, Betrayal at Crondor, and there's a character named James who he had been making talk like Jimmy Stewart just to keep things interesting. Well, good job, shall we? No, that's bad. We should just wait here for Flynn. I don't have the patience to wait for Flynn to just happen to walk out of this town by chance. It was unquestioning obedience to laws and authorities in time like this that made me quit the Imperial Knights in the first place. You never practice unquestioning obedience, come on. But, but... Chicken butt. Well then, Estelle, keep a lookout for us here, won't you? Thank you. Wait, but, but, um, I'm going with you. It's fantastic. <laughs> Glad that settled. Man, there are a lot of Mordio lookalikes here, aren't there? Excuse me, do you have a minute? What, what do you want? Did you happen to know if a knight named Flynn Skiffo has come through here? 
Flynn. Oh, that guy. He was saying something about going to catch someone who'd been vandalizing ruins. Where is he now? He's off vandalizing ruins. Flynn's looking for him. I couldn't say. My research keeps me too busy to pay attention to things like that. I, I see. I'm sorry to interrupt you. I'll be taking my leave then. Stay away from me. Girls are icky. Hey, wait. Up. Uh, unnatural pause. Tell me one more thing. If there is there a famed mage named Mortio around here? Uh, heck, there are people who want to see that weirdo. So I was right. You know Mortio? No, uh, I don't know anything at all. I don't associate with people like that. Hey, I'm not done yet. What? What is it? He's gonna use powerful magic on us, dude. It's like a powerful mage and shit. Why is he standing around at the bottom of the stairwell reading a book? I mean, there's no seats. I'm gonna make himself comfortable. There's no bookshelves. It's just... Oh, there are bookshelves right there. Never mind. Tell me where the mage is. Morty lives alone in a shack back that way. Go for you, see for yourself if you want. Thanks. Are you sure about this? Hmm? Uh, everyone seems to get all out of sorts just from hearing that guy's name. It's weird. Yeah, doesn't it bother you? Why are you looking at me when you say that? Well, he's a Blastia thief. It's no wonder people don't like him. He's a scumbag. You know, Yuri, your attitude, your behavior... They don't seem very hey, nightly. Hey, I paint Estelle's face from? white nightly. I mean, we're entering the city through a back entrance, like thieves. This coming from the guy who picked the lock. I'm just tagging along to find Flynn, and now you've turned me into a thief. You haven't, haven't stolen anything. anything. Yeah, what the fuck? Sheesh. I hate you guys so much. At Ruins Gate, we specialize in excavation of ruins. Basically, mumble, but we take pride in our work. Our chief is very warm and treats even under and even treats underlings like us with kindness. He really is the model of a modern major general. And there's like a chick back there. We don't get talked to. The lounge bookshelf. Would you like a rest for two hundred golds? It's just a bookshelf, of course. Why would it cost two hundred? Well, we're trying to sleep everywhere. Doesn't really make sense to pay 200 gold or gold or whatever to sleep on a bookshelf, but we're all used to sleeping on bookcases, but it might be a little rough for first timers. Do come again. Fortune's Market Aspia. Many thanks, Fortune Market, always bringing you what you need when you need it at a price that's right. Synthesis time, bitches. It's a lot of money to make this special daddy gel. Uh, gummy type medicine recovers all HP and TP. Very r useful, but rare and limited in numbers. I don't have. Oh, I've already got that. The wood mall plus one. I mean, is that the thing that they were worried I wasn't going to be able to? Oh, I couldn't make one of these yet. Okay, this is the thing that I couldn't make yet. Alright, so I upgraded his mall. I've got one of these, but no one's using it. I guess I made it just because I wanted to have one. Everyone is using these. Here's some new stuff. Hmm. I don't have the jet black ink. That is probably something that will become available fairly soon, though. Hey, leather boots. Not really sure what these do for you, but. I think I could just flat out buy here that's cool. Wood Mall. Sachet, sachet through the sargasm. Hmm.
Iron Mail would be better for him than what he's got, but it doesn't teach any skills. So I kind of don't care. Yeah, this would, this would increase some of their stuff, but I'm not really too worried about any of it, to tell you the truth. Ooh, I could get rice now, which means I could start making uh, rice balls, I think. Or no, I might be missing more ingredients than just the rice. Or so I'd like to say, but with business ruined, we aren't really able to stock up wide variety of products. Sniff. Hey, stop sniffing me. It's weird. Still can't make uh, rice balls, because we're missing two of the three ingredients. So I just bought 15 uh, units of rice for nothing, essentially. No, three. Blast you excavated here were all made by the Critchia long, long ago. What the hell is I feel like I'm supposed to know. Severe's Guild World Cellar. Good pipe. Do you want to know about synthesizing? Today's suggested synthesis. I think I've already got all of these. I'll let you know when there's more information. Check back on it. Pretty sure we haven't done anything that would make it a bad idea to save here. Hey, it's Moaning Myrtle. Ruins. Must investigate ruins. What are those off there? Lots of books. This city sure has a lot of books. I'm not really too Glenn was 50 reading. feet tall. And have a hard time sleeping in this place. Yeah. You seem like you're too jittery to sit still and look at something for too well, long. Well, a lot of coffee, you, you know. Talk. Hey, what happened to Estelle? She's been over there reading books ever since we got here. Hmm. Estelle, time to get going. Hmm. Once she starts reading, you can't pull her away. Huh? Oh no, Did she's reading something? Fifty Shades of Grey. This seems to be literature from an ancient civilization. She's not even listening. Sorry, I thought that was going to go longer. I just pulled out a drink here. So this really isn't a town so much as a library, but it's at least as big. I mean, the capital city of this empire is pretty freaking small, so... It's got kind of a neat look. Who are you? I haven't seen you anywhere. Well, it doesn't matter, though. Great dialogue. Did something happen on Amid Hill? I'm a girl. One of several. One of my colleagues was there with several other people. Who the hell are you? You try and swipe any bless you? Oh no. Because I'm an expert bless you thief and the one you're looking for, oh my god. Dot, dot, dot. This might be the one right here. Ooh, leave me be. I'm not supposed to conduct my research with all you loitering around. Go away. Should I be talking to all these people twice? Ah, oh, well, the the Velocity Administration Department administrating all excavated Velocity is our job. You're not wearing Velocity clothes. You must be an officer of the Empire. You don't look like an officer at all. Well, it doesn't matter, though. This is better to me. The bottom line is this team won. Something happened on a meet hill. One of my colleagues went there. Holy crap! It doesn't get more than one line, so it's a thing. Let's take us back down to those two guards. We'll get caught by that guard if we go this way. Yeah, so I was thinking. <laughs> Oh, it's a weird guy lives on the shack Keep by the out. other town. Seriously, Mordio. I guess this is the place. I think hey, people usually try axe? knocking first. Listen, bitch. This guy. Looks like no one's home. What should we do? Break no in. Hesitating when you're heading into a den of thieves. No, I don't want us to commit any more crimes. Listen, baby, we're gonna commit an act of unnatural love. I guess that means it's my turn then. What? 
Your turn? To not commit a crime? We this is still a crime. Either. Nothing to it. Yes, um, nothing to it. Uh, we do not walk the dark path. We are not brothers on the dark path, ma'am. Uh, wait for me! Please, wait. <sighs> Why does he always do that? Then. <laughs> Like this. I don't know. It doesn't look that much messier than my apartment. You can pretty much live anywhere you can eat and sleep if you set your mind to it. Yuri, don't you have something to say first? What? You mean please? Uh, hello. We're coming in. And the door? Carol here, open your door. Sorry about that. Honestly, what? Yuri. Excuse us. Is anyone home? You understand this guy's a thief, and we're trying to retrieve stolen property. I mean, this is not how repo men normally operate. It's a good thing no one's here. That means we get to look for evidence. Oh, check this out. That was it. Oh, oh, check this out. It's a Blasio model. Hmm, whoever made this is pretty talented. It's the model Rick Martel. It's a model of a Grand Blasia. It's not working, though. Grand Blasia? Grand Blasia refers to especially large types of Blasia, including but not limited to Barrier Blasia. Read that in a book, too, huh? The person who lives here must be quite an ardent scholar. I can tell by the fact that this place is a mess. Just because someone studies hard, that doesn't mean that their actions are right or just. She didn't say that. Uh, hey, the cover's about to f fall off this one. Treat books with respect. Priceless information is written on their pages. Yeah, and there's also a lot of doodles and ding-dongs in this one. Y yes. That's a Blasio formula. Feel free to step inside if you'd like. Aren't you cold? I was wondering about this. Um, I don't know why she would be cold out there in particular, but... I've had enough crimes for today. Thank you. Please don't be cheap. Meh, it's not such a big deal. Not a big deal. Breaking and entering is a crime punishable by at least a year in prison and a fine of up to 10,000 gold. That's like, uh... Thousands of, uh, nights sleeping in that bookshelf. Did you notice how messy this writing is? I can write nicer than this. But they say people with bad, ha bad head writing have good hearts. I hope so. Well, I have good head writing and a good heart. How about that? Uh, he's talking like this now, people. Uh, you may have noticed he's suddenly talking like this. It's mostly not because I think it fits, just because I really hadn't differentiated between his voice and Estelle's. It... Estelle, do you know what this formula means? It resembles a magic circle that uses fire, but I'm not sure. <laughs> Similar to the thing that would the uh, alchemy professor would trap you in as part of um, the lurking horror. But at least you understand it a little bit. It means nothing to me at all. So is this like a big piece of translucent crystal? Is it supposed to be some kind of gauzy material? I don't know what the hell that is. Voice acting. Huh. Ah! Oh, what is that? Shut up. Huh. Mario is like a girl. Raven. Help! Burned her own apartment down. Uh, why me? A girl? A grimmel warrior supposed to be brave. If you can pull tricks like that, why'd you bother skipping town back in Zafius? 
Huh? Skipping town? Why would I need to skip town? I don't know, it's your bitch. For stealing the core of a Blastia from the lower quarter in the capital. What else? What? You're calling me a thief. Have you ever heard of common sense? Yeah, it's a pamphlet by Thomas Paine. Sure. So you break into a home, call the owner a thief, and wave a sword in their face. What the hell kind of sense is that? Oh, no wonder he's carrying his sword instead of his axe. It's because it's dialogue here. Hey, dog! You stay back, you... you dog! I'm not the bitch around here, baby! Oh. And you, kid, give him back. He's pretty. What do you mean? The Blastia! The Blastia! Give him back to me! Him? What's with you? Why are you trying to headbutt me? My name is Esteliz. Oh, another female character. I'll have to figure out a voice for her. And I don't want to just go with We're Lulu. We're terribly sorry for barging in on you like this. Yuri, Carol, you too. Sorry. So, what do you want? You didn't really get an apology out of Yuri, but okay. Well, you see, Yuri has followed a Blastia thief here all the way from the Imperial capital. And? Uh, is there a reason you have two different colored pants legs? And that Blastia thief wore a cape, was short, and their name was Mordio. So? Hmm. Well, Mordio is certainly my name. Read a Mordio to be exact. But you can call me Mordio. And the height matches up too. What do you have to say for yourself? Bitch. I told you, I have no idea what you're... Oh, I hadn't thought of that. That's right, I did steal your blast, you core. Follow me. What? If I you want to you live. Hear me. We're not finished here. Just follow me, would you? There's talk that some thieves have turned up in the Shikos ruins. Thieves? Are you sure about that? No, but it's a great way to kill you. I have a plan to ambush and kill you since I'm the thief, you know? It came from an Imperial Knight who asked me for help. It should be trustworthy. No, Flynn, Do you, you think that knight might have been Flynn? Can you read my mind, Yuri? I'm projecting my thoughts to you, Yuri! <laughs> oh, man. It's gotta be. Looks like she shot him down, though. Hey guys, can I read your mind, hey, too? What that guy Whoa, he said about apparently they can all talk to the... Wow. They all have like a psychic connection. Which awesome. Which means the thief who stole the Blastia core could be there. Hey, Daddy, can you guys read dog thoughts? I'm looking for a fire extinguisher, baby. Hey. Hmm, maybe. Finish yeah, chatting. Let's go. Okay, she's a female character, so she's probably meant to be kind of hot, I, I suppose. She's a little younger than Estelle, who's probably meant to be the hottie chick at the party. But. Now you can't see it well here, but there was something going on. She has like a mid-thigh stocking type thing with some bizarre right, color. But don't uh, even think of making a break for it. I don't really understand what's going on with her You clothing. don't have to come. If you want, I'll just call the guards. Why don't we give it a try? It sounds like Flynn might even be there. Why are they thinking at each other? And why can they hear each other? Is the idea that Rita can't hear their thoughts? It's up to you. Go to jail, make a run for it, or follow me. Pick one. Or, you know, follow me and I'll lead you to jail. Okay, okay. We'll go with you. The Shikos ruins are even further to the east, once you leave the city. Weirdo panning shot across the party here. It's kind of interesting. Rita, join the party. A new page has been added to the battle book. Rita's a little scary, huh? Really? Yeah, she has, like, she's a be able to throw expect. fireballs. Seems like she's in a crappy mood, too. Which is what That's I because you broke into her house, Yuri. I don't exactly feel like being on my best behavior when I'm dealing with a core thief. What will you do if you're wrong about her? If I'm wrong, I'll apologize. Yeah, right. You better remember that when the time comes. I'm here to kill oh, you all. Are you listening? I just have I can read your here. mind. So you think I'm scary, do you? Then she wanders off. Watch it, Carol. She's definitely the kind to hold a grudge. Hey! Don't scare me like that! You did break into her house, Carol. I mean, I'm just saying. I'm not saying. Just saying. Alright, so now we have Rita in our party. Her, yeah, it would appear that she is the average of all the other characters' levels, because that's exactly at 22. So she's technically the least experienced, because she's at 
just the farthest to go before leveling up, but whatever. So, we can only have four members in our party at a time. Somebody's got to go. Uh, the only choice, really, is between Carol and Rapide. Uh, because, you know, Estelle and Yuri are pretty obviously the main characters. You can technically get rid of Yuri, but... I mean, we could run around and do combat without Yuri, but... I don't really see how that makes sense. I don't, well, that is that little flag. It means that maybe we still play it. Oh, no, he's always the... I think he's always the per... Well, wait a second. I think it just means that uh, that's the character whose model we see on map screens. So we'll give Repeat a little break. When we get sick of using Carol, we'll bring Repeat back in. Um, and you know, there's a lot of stuff we can do with checking out Rita and getting her set up and stuff, but uh, we're pretty much at the end of the video. So, it's a good stopping point. New character, Minal. When we come back, folks, uh, we're going to take our new character, Rita, who looks as happy in her little picture there as she ever will at any point during the game. And uh, we'll get going on a new adventure, and uh, hopefully, by, quote, following her to the ruins, we'll find these thieves, because we're taking her word for it that she's not the thief. So, next time, folks, we're going to continue to try to track down the thieves and possibly even find Flynn. I'm Mysterious GG. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.